In this five-part video series, you're going to learn how to brew beer, the different types of brew, and how to successfully brew your own beer. But first things first, let's talk about getting into the brew process itself. I, I got into brewing when I was in high school. I was a good student, so I took some AP chemistry and we had an exothermic reaction day that we spent adding you know, part A to part B and it generated heat. And we measured that heat and then flipping through the different options of A and B, I saw that fermentation was one and the hand went up. I never raised my hand in school. It went up on fermentation and I'm like, I wanna do this. So we did it and um, that's, that, that translated to getting a book in the library, going home, doing it at home, and then uh, you know, you're know you buying malt, hops, yeast. It's all grocery goods, there's no age limit. You don't have to be 21 to buy a pack of yeast. And um, you know, the beer got good. And then it went from the closet to the garage to 75 feet of warehouse. It just, the hobby just kept growing. I brewed my first batch with my, with my, uh, with my wife. That's cool. Yeah. What did you guys do? A uh, red ale kit from a homebrew shop in Providence, Rhode Island. Right on. I ended up working for like two years later. Uh, yeah, it was awesome. It was pretty cool. <laughs> you read enough, and it seems like you know you know a thing or two. <laughs> so. She quickly fell off the bandwagon. Of really? Homebrewing. Yeah, because I just did it. I was homebrewing probably every week. It's a process, man. I mean, they were like, "Yeah, get the kit. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy." But I had to do like two wet runs just to get the temperatures right, you know, just to balance the hot water. Granted, I'm using malt extract, you know, so I got to have the warmth to make the malt extract like warm enough to mix around and then the priming sugar and stuff, you didn't want it clumping up. So, I, I mean, my problems are not the same as your guys' problems, but still, I mean, you can't just be like, oh yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go brew a beer and just, you know. We basically always have the same problems that every brewer always has. It's just you have the experience where those problems become much easier to deal with so that you can focus on other problems. <laughs> <laughs> problems that you haven't even considered yet. It's always helpful to have a reservoir of sanitizer on hand because uh, you never know when you're going to need it. Um, and it's typically when you're going to have uh, something clean in one hand and something dirty in another hand and you need to make them somehow come together 